Hi, and welcome to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla, and thanks so much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about a serious problem for a lot of us who are over 40, and that is creasing and wrinkling of our concealer underneath our eyes. For me, a lot of times when I put on concealer and powder and all that, suddenly wrinkles I didn't think I had or know I had or had ever seen before just suddenly go whoosh, take over my face. It is dry city. It is wrinkle city. And it's like, those aren't there when I don't have makeup on. So we want makeup to enhance. We don't make up, want makeup to make us look worse. We want it to make us look better. Baking does not work for me. I bake around my nose. I bake around my chin. But I cannot bake underneath my eyes because it makes those wrinkles look a million times worse and a million times more visible. So I did some research. I got a lot of great tips from the amazing makeup artist Wayne Goss here on YouTube. And then I also incorporated some of my own ideas and came up with this method. I hope you like it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take one of my favorite eye creams. Now I am using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. You just use whatever eye cream of yours is your favorite. So just take your eye cream and just apply it as you normally would using your ring finger because studies show that that finger uses the least amount of pressure. Ooh, big blob just out of there. Okay, so take your eye cream and just pat it under your eye all the way down from right under your eye, right under that waterline, all the way down to where that concealer is going to go. All the way over to the crow's feet. And you're going to do that on both eyes. Now I am putting mine on after I've done all my makeup. A lot of people do it this way. A lot of other people like to do it before they put on the rest of their face. Tapping that in. You know when you're doing this, think of it as loving your skin, loving your face. If you were to put makeup on someone else, you would take really good care of their skin and you would really want to make sure that you put in that effort. We don't always give ourselves the same tender loving care that we would someone else. So when you're doing this, think about that you're giving your eyes some tender loving care to make yourself look fabulous. You've got one coat of eye cream on, whatever your favorite eye cream is. Let it set in. Three to five minutes should do the trick. If you come back and it still feels really, really wet, let it absorb in. The trick here is we want to create multiple layers of eye cream and moisture that is absorbing into the skin. So make sure it's fully absorbed first. So let it sit and do its job. This is one by e.l.f. that I really, really like. It's a hydrating, cooling roller that just kind of does a little bit of magic on those uh, lines and wrinkles and bags and puffiness. So I shake it up a little bit. Just take the roller underneath the eye. There are several different brands that do this. Some have color, some don't. Take it down. I like to take it all the way down to my troughs where the bags and puffiness are. And then I take it up. Same on the other side. Just roll it, making sure you're getting both eyes equally coated. Now I'm taking my ring fingers again and patting that in. Tappy, 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 pat, pat, pat. Now guess what we're going to do? You got it. We're going to let it sink in. Let it do its magic. In case you can't tell already, this is multiple steps. Now I realize this is going to add several minutes to your daily makeup routine. But trust me, this works and I find that it is worth the extra minutes that it incorporates into my makeup routine. I've gotten used to it now so I plan accordingly and it makes a world of difference. So to me, it's worth it. So we're going to go back to your eye cream. Now I'm going to use the same eye cream that I used before but if you use an expensive eye cream, after you've done your first layer of your expensive eye cream, just grab yourself any inexpensive eye cream because what we're going for at this point is not anti-aging, but we're going for moisturizing. So any decent over-the-counter moisturizer will do just fine. Repeating the same system. Tap, tap, tap. Then I rub just a little bit to make sure that it really is getting in there and getting absorbed. Can you see what I'm doing here? Going to the other side and repeating. Now, leave it. Let it sit. One reason I like doing this 
after I've done my foundation and before I've done my other makeup is because I can start doing other things. I can do my cheeks, I can do my contour, I can do my blush, I can, you know, do my nose, whatever I need to do. So I like to do it in between steps because it gives me time to let it dry without adding a ton of extra time because I can be doing something else. But you do whatever works for you. This is your face. Oh, Lord have mercy. Woo! Hot flash. Woo! Sorry, ladies, I am having a hot flash. I am so sorry. I know you can see the sweat just running down me. Woo! It's my own little personal trip to the tropics right now. Excuse me while I go put my head in the freezer. Now, I like to use my eye cream, then my roller, then my eye cream two more times. So it's a total of three times that I'm applying the moisturizer. You can do it how many ever times you feel you need. If you feel you only need one or two times, do that. If you feel you need four, do that. What you're looking to do is to plump up those wrinkles, plump up those lines, and get this as moisturized as possible so that the concealer and the powder you're going to put over it don't just go because that's what settles into the lines when it's dry. That's why you're creasing, that's why you're caking, that's why it's looking like you're 722 years old because it's absorbing into the skin and bringing out lines and wrinkles that would not normally be visible if they're properly moisturized. So just let that sit and do its work. Good Lord, I thought menopause was over by now. I was wrong. Now, after I've done my eye cream, I use a product that I have not found from any other brand. This is from e.l.f., and it's specifically an under eye primer. I'm sure other brands make them. If you know of one, leave it in the comment section below, but this is the only one that I have been able to find that's specifically for the under eyes, so I use it. Just take a little pump, dab it between your two fingers, and you guessed it, we're tapping that in. Just like you prime your skin with a primer for makeup or for eye makeup, we're priming our under eye skin as well. So get that all in there and let it set. Three to five minutes usually does the trick. But if it takes a few minutes longer, I let it set because I want to make sure that that's really moisturized and that we're getting into those lines and wrinkles and making them go instead of Okay, so I've got my eye cream on, I've got my roller on, I've got my eye cream on again, and I've got my under eye primer from e.l.f. Now I'm using an eyeshadow primer, the kind that you would normally put on your lid. And this is from Lorac. You can use any eyeshadow primer that you like. There are lots of good ones, so just use your favorite. A little bit of it on my finger, tapping it in between my fingers to get it warm and just go underneath. The technique is the same on all the steps. You're tapping it in, making sure that you're covering your entire under eye area. Now guess what we're going to do? Let it set for a couple of minutes. said the change is a magical time in a woman's life is a liar. Okay, now it's time for the concealer. You pick your favorite concealer, but there really are some good ones that are great at preventing that creasing and wrinkling. MAC makes a great one. ELF even makes some really good ones. Uh, Maybelline makes a really good one with the sponge tip applicator. That's a good one that I use a lot. IT Cosmetics is Bye Bye Under Eye. That's one of my favorites because it's anti-aging and hydrating. Anything that's hydrating and liquidy, those for me turn out to be the best to prevent that under eye creasing and wrinkling. I'm using Benefit fake up today. I like this because it has a moisturizing cell around the actual concealer and it is called a hydrating anti-creasing concealer. So we're going to put this underneath the eye. After you've done all of that moisturizing, you will probably find you don't need as much concealer as you think you do. Now, using either your fingers or a beauty blender or a sponge or even a brush, just tap it in as you normally would. Now, one of the big tricks here is making sure that it is fully blended 
because we want to tap out any wrinkles that may be popping up. So we want to make sure that they are smooth. So again, you can do that either with your finger, a beauty blender, a sponge that you like, or a brush. Just make sure that everything is completely smooth. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable with that. So now we are coming to the end, I promise. Now I'm going to use my favorite under eye setting powder. It's from e.l.f. It's $3. I have tried a ton of different setting powders over the past year. This $3 one from e.l.f. is my favorite. Yes, $3 from e.l.f. It's very finely milled. It is an HD brightening powder and I really like it because it doesn't crease on me or wrinkle on me like so many of the other very expensive brands do, but you use whatever works for you. That's why there are so many different products out there and that's great because every skin is different, every body is different, so you find what works best for you. I just take a little bit of it, tap it out into the cap, and I mean a tiny tiny amount. That used to be one of my biggest mistakes is I would over powder that under eye and man within seconds here came the wrinkles. Here came old crinkly witch lady. The trick is the littlest littlest amount. So I'm just using a small fluffy brush from e.l.f. I'm swirling it into the cap. going to tap off the excess and just a tiny tiny amount tiny, tiniest amount you can get away with, littlest amount you can get away with. Use light pressure, take it down to wherever your concealer ends, and that is that. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my eye makeup, I'm going to put on some liner and some mascara. Another great thing about this method is that it keeps your mascara from smudging too because that powder kind of protects you. Here we go again. Good Lord. And this is the finished look. So baking works for a lot of people. It does not work for me. If it doesn't work for you, why don't you give this method a try? Give this video a thumbs up if you like these tips. If you want to see more things like this, also give it a thumbs up and make a comment in the section below. And leave us a comment below on how this method works for you. I really like it. It's the only thing that's been working for me, you know. As we age, a lot of times our techniques have to change. And also, if you would like to see a tutorial on this complete makeup look, this is pretty much my winter staple look, leave that in the comment section below. I promise I will do my best to leave the sweat drops out of it. I will link all the products that I use down in the description box below. And don't forget that we have a great contest going on for you this month. You can win this beautiful four-piece OPI gift set. We've got gorgeous colors that would be perfect for Valentine's Day for you. Four-piece set could be yours. All the uh, information on how to enter is in the description box below. It could be yours. So until next time, thanks so much for joining us on Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. We love you. Bye.